I have a question for you. Do you know how to grow your own? I'm not talking about that stuff. Although it is legal in a lot of states these days. <laughs> what I'm talking about is the ability to grow your own people at your own company. Staffing really comes in three things. There are improving your existing staff that's there. And what I mean by that is everyone has holes, holes in their knowledge. I was the, one of the best techs at our shop. I was the second best tech. My brother Richie was always number one. And to this day, I suspect Richie still is the number one best tech. There were repairs that I would not sell people because I was uncomfortable and I was the boss's kid. So you can only guess what other people were willing to do. And that I promise you is the same at your own shop. So the number one aim is to get the holes fixed in your existing people, the holes in their knowledge. The second thing you need to do is when you hire somebody new, they always tell you they can do everything. How many times have you been in an interview is, oh, can you fix a sink? Can you fix a no heat call or no cooling call? The only answer I promise you'll ever get is, oh yeah, done a lot of that. That is until they're out in the field and you find out what they really can and can't do. So the trick is to find their holes faster and have the ability to fix them. And then the last thing, which is why I was able to leave my business many years ago and consult with people across the country and even in Canada, is because I had built my own, which is what I'm really speaking to, is growing your own. The ability to take young, willing people and provide the skills versus trying to find people who are already skilled and praying that they're willing. It's very difficult. You might get lucky once in a while. It's a very hard way to grow a company. The trick is to be able to put enough people into the pond. So this is where I create apprentices to junior techs. That's a program that requires a training center, operations manuals, training curriculum, and improving your own training skills. This is really the big thing that those shops that have worked with me and found the greatest success have really embraced this. Again, leveraging the operating manuals and turning it into training curriculum and building the training center where they get hands-on. If you think about it, if you're doing only on-the-job training, what are you really doing? You're punishing your customers. They're paying for you to learn on the job. And honestly, you can't get to all of the training you need to do. There needs to be this big block of training that has to go on and the only safe place to do it is a training center. Now, if you can't afford a training center or you can't build the right type of training center, use your own home. I did that at my house for years and years before I was able to build that training center. You can do uh, friends homes. You can do good work and help people and volunteer or give them discounts. All of that is really good. At the end of it, you need to grow your own.